Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you the workflow between Substance Painter to Houdini and then to Unreal Engine. So right here I have the texture and I'm happy with it so I'm going to export and the shortcut for that is Control shift e and in here I just want to select uh, the, my folder and the configuration Unreal Engine 4 back. Okay, uh, the resolution is fine, I just click export. Let's give it a second, cool. Uh, let's jump into Unreal Engine. Okay, um, let's actually take, take the textures. So, I'm gonna take these three, just import them. Cool. Uh, let me turn off source control. So now we need to create a material, but before that, um, it's a good practice to go into the into the mix material. Uh, this this is the material containing your roughness, your metallic, and your occlusion information. Uh, and you want to disable the sRGB. Once that disabled, save it. And in case you don't know, if you don't do this step, uh, your materials will look over over glossy. So, okay, let's create a material now. Mat. There we go. Let's open it. And take these three textures here. And boom. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to show this workflow is uh, some people don't know how to connect the this multi-layer material. So the way it works is the red channel is for the ambient uh, the ambient occlusion, the green one is for the roughness, and the blue one is for the metallic. Okay, now that that's done, uh, let's just save it. And we can see in here the preview of the material. That's all good and dandy. So now we need to we need to copy the reference. Mm. Yeah, right here. Uh, you right click, and on the references in here, copy reference. Now we jump into Houdini, and the only thing you have to do is you have to drop an Unreal material. So the Unreal material, it's an attribute create, but uh, you would not find this by default with Houdini. You need to install the the um, dev tools. I'm gonna post the link on the description on how to do that, but it's really really simple. Uh, let me see if I can if I remember how to do it. No, I'll just post the video then. Um, okay, and yeah, once you have that installed, you just go on real material. You plug it um, wherever you need it. In my case, I already plug it here on my node. And all we have to do is come under the string. I'm gonna delete this old reference and I'm gonna copy the new one. And you see wood plunk dummy, um, which is the one that we just created. So now that that's done, uh, remember to save your asset under assets, save assets, and here we go. Let's go back into Unreal. Okay, here's the asset. What the reason it's doing that is because this was an old material. So now, if we reveal the interior, um, reveal all instances, you can see the material just updated. So yeah, some parts, some parts are not UV, and that's what you see. I believe this is called dilation. Uh, yeah, I still still have to go to fix those same issues as well. But you can see that if this was um, if this was material for an asset like these stairs, for instance, you would be all said and done. I'll make a later video for things uh, that are more intricate, like this um, uh, modular interior generator, like I have here. But for now, you should be all set to go to create your own um, HDAs into Unreal with the materials. So that's it guys. I hope uh, this was helpful. Um, if you got any feedback on the video, let me know. Bye.